I will not end up like my mother. I must complete my education. By all means necessary. Ah, pero ma ja kondi, as me vinte vi sumaeri. Pedingo. Sumanga na alito ko anete na lengere iti. Tagite chisiri mi atatu. Mi atatu. E mi atatu kire week. Nande manga na juande di mu motin. Di mu motin. Nada matu konsi to atu meke mepir. Di mu motin. Hmm. Ka? Is it a joke? No, not advance it. Tori kwa kuka bila kwa kilo na wanyaka tika tiyo muti. Hmm. Nende, okay. Na ringe diri ya mangana ngo. Kani kwenye ndoa kora? Ah, miata tu ambekere ba miambi. Miambi ni tayi kuna. Miambi ni mbia. Ewe kile chini tayi baya sanka. Nao chini yuara mnyen. Pekai miata tu miata tu na na chini tayi. Miata tu nje. Eu me atrato de gaia. Sao, não tu tá aí, tu tá sao. Caralho. Ok, me atrato na bunda aí, tá bem? Aqui dentro ele mo mo tinha nha. Tira a beca dele. Sao. Me atrato de tu coli tanga de lá, não? Dori cara, tu me ganha pior. Na rico tia vo, o chimo tu na botura aí, ender. Hã? Bob Mali once said, better to die fighting for freedom than be a prisoner all the days of your life. So don't judge me. My turn and go to Nari. You know, I come here in Chennai to look for Kungu. I change it. My turn and Kungu, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Ogo itu mukun pakai anda nyanyi tali. Okay. Ah, ciri poti cikiti. Wan atau buku anda nak bahasa aja. Tegar ni. Naki na aja. Naki na nyora na. Tinggal mani kikuah mukul diri. Unjuk kiri. Ayah na ayah ni na ayah. Mubi muri. Ikan sikat. Mubi muri. Ikan sikat itu terbaik. Tadi ada buik. Aba kuku. Ngan kamu itu anda. Tadi ada buik. Na musa ni umur ini na na aja muka ini mui sone. Na ibu anda na ayah kuah mukul cavit. Kuah mukul cavit. Well, you work a report, and it is not very interesting. I am Mumura. Mumura, but you are not going to go home. Huh? Yeah, I tell you. Oh, my God! I am a Kungu. 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 I am a Kung Bon, on n'y a pas de report de la police. Il y a des évidences. 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 Bon, on m'a dit. Tu peux aller à la maison. Il y a des évidences. 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 Iko muka iko yenda gani simu hiki karanza muga yenka na muko roi kiar oyo onde oyo onde muka ya report buna aruro hiki buna ochaviro muka aga cha nera kari report the same thing muka na muga mbamu chuo ita ba kungu njana na kuita sika kuhuru kenyorogi ya kenyorogi ya tiokiri yana kumurusiri kwa sio yana kumusuno kuto hiki njano monto malena na rigo cha koko gambi bina iko kwa iguri iko kwa iguri na report ni mel Aye, take sides. Tete yaba subati kabisa. Na musani onera mate muiri ngora. Ebo na moko njia ni mate wika moja njia na adia. Adia si moko njia na mate muiri ngora. Yona akuli na kikia na tani na chini. Sawa imu kam. Si. Jumlah, jumlah. Ngerasa? 
Wa kitu mu ngambi kama report. Ngango itande. Mugambiki. Ena ko boria sawa ngora. Ngwa kitu mu ngambi ka report ngango itande. Jiji yunu ke? Yunu ka ga. Ita na ga, tika ko na wonta minko na otia ngoko tambande. Ngoko ta bana ngaki. Ngwa ra sen ngwa kitu kama report. Ngwa ta bana ngaki. Ngwa kitu kama report. Okay. One. Okay go. Ena ko boria ngwa mu report so mu report. Na mu na mu. Eh? What Nigeria, <laughs> Nava <laughs> 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 ngiochaka <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeras Kibagedi from A Million Hands. Hi, my name is Bella Masanya from International Solidarity Foundation. Bella, so in this episode you are seeing uh, Trevena now getting into uh, a sort of a deal, sort of an agreement right. to just to meet her needs. I know as a girl watching this, there is something you felt as a woman, uh, provided the terms of this engagement. Talk to us about that. It's very interesting because I absolutely would not judge her. She had no other option, had already talked to the father, had already talked to the mother. And this guy was ready to provide. She did not even actually go to look for him. He spotted her, he decided I can give you um, the things you're looking for. He says, I know the things you went to look for at home, you couldn't find them. Mm. I can give you money, I can be providing these things for you. So you see where that um, uh, ends up at, is that now she's forced to engage in sexual activity activity. Whereas if these feminine products, if there were finances at home for her to have access to these products, would she really have made the decision that she made? She couldn't. Probably not. Mm -hmm. And then you see now the problem is that the man is now saying that because I'm providing A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. I have to get sex as a reward. Wow. Question to the girls who are watching this. Have you gotten to a point where you felt like you can actually you know, exchange sex for something that you need, something as crucial to you as as pants. 
it must be a very devastating situation. It's 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 a very difficult, which is why we say it's a very indignifying experience for women and girls who do not have access to these products. Because you see, at the beginning of the episode, she actually says, "I will not end up like my mother." She's convinced. She knows that she has been forced to make these decisions. But if it were up to her, she would have stayed in school. And I'm really hoping that as 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 the plot continues, she hopefully. I'm not very sure, but I'm hoping that she will indeed not end up as her mother. But that really remains to be seen. But Bella, she's already <laughs> ending up like her mother because she's making a decision to get into something that is out of her will. Something which is, uh, she's getting into harm because even from the negotiation, when this guy says they're not going to use protection, right. that already is something that is harmful to right. her. Right. And her mother is in a marriage that is harmful for her every other time. Which, thank you for actually um, correcting me on that. I think the cycle, we can already see the cycle has already started. Mm -hmm. The emotional blackmail that we cannot use protection because I'm giving you. Giving you money. Right. And then we can also see in this episode that the, the, the provider now in this case is already showing tendencies of violence. Absolutely. Okay. He's beating up the boyfriend. Exactly. And actually emotionally manipulating and saying, oh, you want me to tell your father? Or should I tell her or tell uh, you where you are? Exactly. Time? Exactly. So, I feel like sometimes life is unfair in that regard, especially for disadvantaged people, marginalized people, people who do not have um, like a stable income, that sometimes we say life gives you lemons and they cannot make lemonade out of it because mm -hmm. this cycle has already continues is she gonna finish her education mm -hmm. you know and if she does not finish her education and now she has a man that has already said we will not use protection is she gonna end up with stis pregnancy pregnancy you know and be um, um, a teenage mother at a young age and you know being a teenage mother Will she be able to provide for the child that might come out of that? And even if this man is providing at the end of the day, surely 300 shillings, is, it, it really cannot do much. Mm. And as we know, life, as we know in real life, sanitary products are very expensive, I have to say. They're very expensive. I come from a family of six girls, and I do not even want to begin to, 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 to explain Thankfully, we did not struggle, but you could see the struggle that your parent has. Six girls, can you imagine? Every day there's somebody menstruating in the house. So you have to ensure these products are in the house round the clock. It doesn't, menstruation does not take a day off. It doesn't take, it doesn't wait for when your salary hits the bank. So it's, 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 it's a difficult situation to be in. So, like I said, I wouldn't judge her. Sibella, I come also from a family of six girls, and the struggle was there. The struggle so is real. I saw these things firsthand, and I just felt some sort of way remembering that and you know, talking about it. But once again, we are seeing violence. We are seeing violence. All right, yeah. Um, in terms of, you know, even when you're trying to break this cycle, the mother goes to report to the chief. Yeah. But then what happens when the husband comes home? She's beaten black and blue. So then, again, reminds me of what we experience in the field yeah. almost every other day. That when, when women say that, what if I go report and then he'll come back home and now he will completely finish me, which is what happens in this episode and happens a lot, that there is the fear within women. The, the, the men or perpetrators have managed to instill fear within them that if you go report, which is why I said violence thrives on silence. Mm -hmm. Let me be quiet, he'll just beat me, but at least he will not kill me. He'll come up back home tomorrow, he'll kill me, but at least he'll beat me, but at least he'll not kill me. And because if I go before, in, yeah. them die. Yeah, right. So I think the question I have for the audience is, as a man now going back to, 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 to Trufena and the decision she had to make, would you provide 
for a woman and not expect anything in return. And I'm only asking this because I have actually experienced it in real life. I've experienced the kindness of strangers. And as a matter of fact, I have a friend who took their then girlfriend to university first year until fourth year, and they did not ask anything in return. And then the, 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 the woman decided, okay, I do not feel like I, don't, I want to be with you. And the man still went ahead to help her secure a job, even though they had broken up by then. And so I was asking him what's up with this. And he said, I mean, support of women being independent, she doesn't owe me anything. I did it out of the goodness of my heart. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this situation. Wow. And as a man, I want to know from a man, can you support a lady without any need for sexual favors or sexual exchanges? You. And if you can't, then how do we move on? Maybe don't provide at all to begin with to avoid future. Pro I, I don't know what to think about this, Talk but let's have this debate. Right. <laughs>